Hello, in this video I'm discussing one of the universal symptoms in Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, specifically the unique way the EDS body experiences pain. Disclaimer, this is a high-level overview and not a complete or comprehensive guide. While all EDS patients have pain, like everything else with EDS, pain experience is unique to the individual. Some common themes exist for many, and that is what I'm focusing on today. Many events can cause pain with EDS. Frequent subluxations, dislocations, and joint instability are pretty much a universal cause of pain. Previous trauma to an area, too much movement, sports activities, overuse of a joint, and more can also cause pain. Loose ligaments lead to poor proprioception, so you can bump into furniture and walls, which causes bruising, bruising and thus pain. Most pain is around the joints and ligaments, and that's related to hypermobility itself, but there are many causes. A pain flare in EDS is a reference to an increase in pain with EDS. Other flares happen. One might have a flare where they have more subluxations and dislocations than normal. Joints may be more unstable without warning, seemingly. These flares often seem to happen out of the blue, but they're typically triggered by something. Some flares are very easy to trace to specific events and activities. There's not so much. Common causes of flares are dietary related, over exercise, over treatment, hormone changes, environment changes such as smells, temperature, mold, and more. Stress, medication, and lack of sleep, also common triggers. Individuals may have other common causes not listed. What's interesting about these flares and pain in EDS is perceived symptom of pain can be delayed, sometimes significantly, which can make tracking difficult. Stress a day or two ago may be the reason the flare is so bad today. Overexercise last week and you didn't get extra sleep to heal, kind of slept bad the next two days, could be that snowball that leads into days of pain this week. It's important to find your triggers and pace your day to avoid them if you want to avoid pain flares. Pain can be different in different parts of the body and to varying degrees of intensity. You may have a dull pain, throbbing pain, burning pain, pins and needles, or another type altogether. There is no universal pain sensation EDS. There's no, this is EDS pain. Um, pain is experienced in a very unique way in the brain. There are some things that can help pain alongside proper day pacing diet and the right level of exercise. Support and aids such as splints and braces worn on problem joints can help. Pillow supports for when you're lying in bed or when you're sitting can be helpful. If you work in an office, ergonomic keyboards, mice, and chairs are helpful. If you work while standing, different braces and really good shoes can be helpful as well. Some pain medications can help as well as topical treatments such as creams and ointments. Heat and cold therapy can also help. A tent machine, massages, and assistance from others can all be helpful. It's important to manage one's day to avoid triggers, but it's also important to have a toolkit or go-tos to manage flares when they do happen. For more EDS content, subscribe and watch my EDS playlist. Next video, I'll cover pain trigger tracking and then patient self-advocacy after that, so stay tuned.